All right, our latest magic cookie who has been released into the game just right now, Macaron Cookie. We have enough to promote. Uh, we are going to be doing some testing without promotion, with promotion, with ascension, etc. Uh, we have a very interesting skill here with the 15 second cooldown. So let's first, of course, level her up to level 70. Let's uh, get the skill leveled up all the way up to 70 as well, right? That's a lot of stuff, man. That is a lot of stuff. Mighty Macaron Parade. Follow Macaron Cookie's exciting cheer. The Macaron animals will start marching, dealing damage to nearby enemies. Non-cookie enemies will receive additional damage. Her uh, contagious enthusiasm will increase the attack and crit of her allies and restore their HP. Depending on the number of hits from the Macaron animals, Macaron Cookie will gain a stack of Happy Parade buff. Macaron Cookie will then restore the HP of her allies proportional to the number of stacks of Happy Parade once the parade is over, all right? So the periodic damage, uh, area damage here is up to 20 times over a spam of five seconds. And the single hit damage per animal, it seems like, uh, is going to be two cookies, 28.5%. And then to non-cookie enemies, it's going to be 45%. Uh, it seems like that's going to be to bosses and stuff too. So it says after every five hits, all right, every five hits, a single enemy receives 5% less damage, all right? Does not go below 20%. So the crit percentage is 11.5% for 10 seconds, stacks up to two times, and attack is going to be 11.5% uh, for 10 seconds, it stacks up to two times. All right, that means that you can uh, go and increase this all the way up to 23%. And then healing is going to be 5.8% of attack every one second for five seconds. So it's not a ton of uh, periodic heal here uh, with the 5.8%. Okay, but there is this bonus healing, all right? Bonus healing is going to be 5% plus 0.4% of attack per happy parade stack. And it says right here, Happy Parade stacks with each three hits dealt by Macaron animals stacks up to 30 times. All right. So um, it seems like it seems interesting. I think it's going to um, for now, personally speaking, because of the fact that we have this and this and it says it can stack up to two times. I feel like Swift Chocolate would be the way to go uh, in order to get, you know, utilize the stacks. Okay, but we'll have to see, of course. Uh, we just don't know exactly what, what she would be best with without any, uh, you know, testing. All right, 10-31 dark mode here. We got full swift chocolate to just see how much damage she's able to do. And of course, with the stack as well. All right, so here we go. Okay, let's go and see. Okay, so as you can see, it is going to be a wave. It's very similar to how Cherry Blossom is. Okay, as well as Mango. So, I guess it's a more of a direct comparison to uh, the skill-wise. It's going to be very similar to Mango style. So pretty much if you have a full Sir Chocolate, you can keep this buff up at 23%, right? 100% of the time. To be honest right now, the damage-wise doesn't seem super, super, like, strong. <laughs> she lit does look more towards like a very support uh, type of magic cookie. Okay, this is gonna take forever. So let me just show you the damage. Four million healing, very okay. Okay, but I feel like, yes, she's gonna do more damage to uh, just waves, mobs for bosses and things like that. Probably not the best way to go, all right? So let's just go in, uh, of course, test her out within the uh, arena. Cotton, Cotton will heal more. No, 100% Cotton will heal more. Oh. Oh, they, they disappeared. Oh, they disappeared. Yo, they disappeared. Oh. 
Ah. Dang, her damage. <laughs> Yo. All right, all right, all right. Let's let's try let's try this. Let's see if we have a little bit of more survivability. Whoa. Dude, I, absolutely up against caviar, like, Macaron just gets absolutely destroyed. Wow. What? <laughs> I won? <laughs> How did I win that? How did I win that? What is going on? How did I win that? <laughs> Dude, Black Pearl literally carried right there. Dude, 200,000 damage. Of course, Macaron got deleted by Captain Caviar by the second time she... Uh, she used her skill, but still, man, healing wise, um, time speed. Okay. I'll do level. Uh, I don't, I don't know how far I can get right now because I didn't set up properly, but. Let's, let's see this. We're going to use it exactly the same as how we did with pomegranate. I think definitely Macaron might be a lot better within the lower level uh, avatar, though. Definitely will help out because of your, now even the ability to get rid of the wall becomes even easier, right? Okay, let's see the damage. Oh, yeah. Holy. Oh, dude, she is made for Avatar. She's way better than Pomegranate. So this is this is game changer for the Avatar. This is what you need to use her for. Wow. That That's where she is for, guys. She's a W here. 8.3 million is kind of bad, but the thing is, it's 8.3 million pl uh, extra because Pomegranate does what, like 1 million? Right? I feel like she's geared towards the Avatar, though. I don't know how much how much more she can do inside of uh, the dragon. Kind of feel like the dragon team is already kind of set in a way. All right. Oh 
Wow. She gives buff right there. Gives... Yeah, no, this is... Yeah, okay. Yo, no, 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 no. This is... This is almost, like, almost 20 million extra damage. Almost 20 extra million. This is level 40, and that's pretty high, too. I mean, like, for, for you know, normal guilds, 73 million on a level 40 avatar is kind of nuts. All right, so I feel like definitely, definitely for the avatar macaron is this is where she shines all right there's a clear conclusion that i can make right now from testing her out with the three star ascension now is that she is 100 percent going to be used inside of the avatar team as well as she will probably going to be used with a very very high chance inside of the uh, new abyss team probably not for the dragon but she is literally a guild focused cookie uh inside of the arena sorry but i don't think she's gonna be a meta changing cookie inside of the arena once again for the guild boss battle avatar is absolutely insane and uh if you replace pomegranate with macaron uh use the same exact topping that uh pomegranate used but i think that for guild bosses uh she is going to be changing how it's going to be played for now on all right so uh, definitely more testing needs to be done, all right, for the arena. Of course, uh, you know, some people who actually, like, go, like, full dive study into this game may be able to find a team for Macaron. And once that comes out, I will definitely be, uh, you know, testing it out, reviewing it for you guys, and sharing it with you guys. But as of right now, from just my initial testing, Macaron seems like more of a guild-focused cookie rather than a meta for the arena all right pvp aspect of things uh as of right now but yeah i think that's gonna conclude the first initial review of macaron cookie